next person that we're going to have is Ms. Dawn Hayes. I met her in Thomas Street. She took us to one of my 14 counties. We were at a health fair a couple weeks ago, and she was talking about what it means to have capital resources for different things. So she talked about the financial aspect of health care and other, other things. So I'm looking forward to hearing her share great information on what she's going to share about financial side of everything. How everybody doing today? All right. Um, as she said, I am Dawn Hayes. I'm with Capital Choice Financial Services. Um, our main office is out of Atlanta in Greensboro, Georgia. But it just so happened that I joined the company and I got my own office in Thomasville. So I try to get out and I tell the people about insurance. You know, we were all known to have insurance to bury us. You got to make sure you have a policy for this, policy for that. But now I've learned that we have insurance where we're still alive that'll help us too with living benefits. There's where you can have a term policy on the outside, but inside you need that coverage in the middle, critical, terminal, and chronic illnesses, where it'll cover everything that's going on with you in life now. Because so many of us have heart attacks, strokes, aneurysm, diabetes, where as if we were young and we got these policies, when we get older, that's going to help us. If we're in the hospital, we can't pay our bills. We can't get out and get the services that we need. Somebody's going to come in and help you, and you'll have the funds that will help you. Whereas in the living benefits, I'll give you a prime example of a gentleman that I had. He had a uh, $500,000 policy for another company, but that was just for term. And he says, well, we're going to transfer it over to a living benefits policy. He paid a little bit more. But six weeks later, he had a stroke, sitting on the bed, just talking. There was nothing wrong with him. And his wife heard him. They took him to the hospital. While he was in the hospital, they came to the hospital and wrote him a check for $260,000 because he had transferred over to those living benefits. Whereas if he would have kept that term policy for just $500,000, he would have been trying to figure out how to pay his bills, how to, you know, go out and get this. And he was a breadwinner of the family. So that's what I'm trying to tell people. When I come to you and ask you about insurance, I'm not trying to make you buy. I'm trying to educate you on what's out there for you so you won't be stuck in a situation where as you got to go to the state, you know, to try to get some money. You got to be qualified for this. You got to give them your whole life history where as you've already got your plan set up. You know, you be prepared. Like they say, God will give you warning before destruction. Okay, he want, he, you know. He warning us on things that we have to do, like this coronavirus now that's going on. Everybody is panicking. Whereas if it was terminal, where you couldn't have a cure for it, then this insurance would be perfect for you to have in sight. It's a terminal illness, so they're giving us a certain amount of days to live, a certain amount of months to live. You can get your whole policy. It's your policy. And you can, you can do what you want to do with it. You can pay for your own funeral. You can take your family here. You can do this. You can do that. That's your money. You don't have to wait until you die to get it. So that's how we say about living benefits. And we also do um, show you how to do your debt reduction, your income. Budget your money where you won't be in so much debt. You can put it all down and you pay it off faster and show you how you can save money. And then you can start investing because we do investments too. Well, so where your money can grow. Like now, everybody trying to move their money here and move it there because they're scared of moving. But if you put it in an uh, indexed annuity at a 7% interest, I think, you're going to lose what's growing, but you're not going to lose what you put in automatically. That's your money. It's going to stay there. So you're secure with that part. And what um, we work with five different companies, whereas you can get a $300,000 policy with no blood work um, for as um, long as you put everything down. Be honest with me. I can actually, even if you have diabetes or heart problems, as long as you take your medication, you manage it, and everything's under control, they'll give you living benefits because one day you're going to get to that chronic part of your life. As far as myself, I have rheumatoid arthritis, so I couldn't get the living benefits because I was diagnosed, then I would have been covered. But I am controlled under my medication and stuff. So as where if down the line it's stabilized, I can go back and I get living benefits because rheumatoid arthritis is crippling. So 
Mm -hmm. So I'm going to want those living benefits to when I get to the point where my kids are going to have to take care of me. I don't want them to be a burden and have to get all their money. I got money coming in where they can go do this for mom, and I don't have to be in a nursing home somewhere. I can be at home with them. So it's a lot that the living benefits help you out with. It's just not insurance. It's income protection. It's building a future, you know, for your kids. And we have another policy where you can get up to 249999000 for with the living benefits. Because if you go up to 250000 or go up to that 301, you have to do your blood work. And a lot of people don't like to get stuff. You go to the doctors enough already as is. So you can get as much as you want to. We go up to $2 million in policies. But you have to do blood work if you go to those. But the thing about it is you're setting up the future for your family. You're setting up income protection for you. And you're, you're helping yourself instead of just having the insurance for when you die and living out to your family. you got to have it for while you're here to help your family. So that's what we do at Capital Choice Services. I don't have a long speech to go on, you know, to tell everybody, but I gave you those books. It tells you what we cover and um, what are the triggers for the living benefits. And even if nothing's wrong with you, like now, like I said, if you have a policy, you got a cancer policy, you got a heart attack policy, you're paying money for all three of those different policies. Where with living benefits, you get everything in one. You don't have to pay for so many different policies. I had a young lady who had six policies. She was paying $145 a month for all of them. You know, we broke them down and everything into one. So now she paid 117 for everything. But it goes by your age. The insurance amount goes by your age. I have where my daughters, I made them get the $300,000 policies. So if something happens to them while they're young, it's there to cover them. But when they get older, if they don't need that amount, they can decrease. They only pay $34 a month for $300,000 worth of insurance. And it's set on a 10, 15, 20, and 30 year basis. Everything increases after so many years, but it's at a set rate for so long where you don't have to worry about every year if something's going to increase. So do I have any questions for anybody? What is an indexed annuity? Okay, an indexed annuity, it's a um, fixed annuity, whereas, like I said, you put your money in, like a 401k. It's almost like a 401k, but people move their money around because, like I said, with the way the economy is right now, the Wall Street money's dropping. People are losing money. So you put it in an annuity, you can move it into another one and won't be charged. Or when you move it, the money that, the interest that has grown on it, if you lose that, that's fine, but your money is safe with that one. It's like it's fixed, it's there. It, you're not going to lose people losing money. So you put it in an annuity, you can move it into another one and won't be charged. Or when you move it, the money that, the interest that has grown on it, if you lose that, that's fine, but your money is safe with that one. It's like it's fixed, it's there. It, you're not going to lose that part. So you count on the safe side, whereas if you just put it in an um, annuity and it's just growing your money, you're going to lose your money. They're going to tell you how much money that you're going to get paid. But that's my money. Why are you going to tell me how much money? Can, it's kind of like whole life insurance. We've all been said, you get whole life insurance, you're going to get money on top of that. And those first two years in the whole life insurance policy, the money that you're paying in goes all to the insurance company. And if something happens to you, you're not even covered. So then when you start to build up cash value on that money, it takes so many years, you got to borrow your own money and you got to pay your own money back for your policy to be valid when you um, die. For your, yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, I'm dealing with that now. I'm dealing with that uh, uh, with this whole life. You know, they, they, the insurance company told me, you can get the dividend off your whole life policy. They done deal up, you can get $600. But we go in there and just get the money and then go on vacation. But they didn't tell me uh, that the deposit, what it is, the policy goes down. It goes down. Plus, now they charge you interest, you interest I'm paying, I on your pay own money. money. <laughs> right now, I'm right here where I need to pay you thousands of dollars back, so mm -hmm. they didn't give me anything. Yeah. Wow. What they did, they cut and broke my policy down of what I started out. Mm -hmm. Plus, I got to pay the interest back on something I was already paying. So I'm in debt with the insurance I've been paying on for 40 or 50 years. That's right. 
and that's how they do us. That's why everybody say whole life is good. No, whole life is not good. It's, a, it's really a ripoff. It's kind of like you getting a loan. If you didn't want to pay that money back, they did reduce your policy, but they still charge you that interest every year on your own money. Well, why do you they don't. I didn't, I didn't, think, I didn't think you get interest. I mean, I didn't thought they charge you. They said this is your money. You don't, you don't have to pay interest later on. You get all these letters saying the interest, and it go up every year. You don't pay. That's right, and that's how they get us, cause we all yes. looking for a way to get us some money. Yeah, you but. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> just want to add on to that. What you were saying, the sad thing about it is that you can't pursue the one personality only once. That's right. That's right. Because he's right. When you you paying for two, that money, that cash value that you build up, mm -hmm. you have to sell that cash for value in order to get your debt turned. You get your you get you keep they keep the cash value that's built up. Okay. And, and you get the dev term when you're failing past. So it's benefiting them all together. But he's right. You're paying for two instead of one. <laughs> yes. In her, in her situation, how can you fix that? Um, how old are you, though, my man? I'm 71. 71, okay. You have, we'll, we'll talk about your medical issue or whatever, okay. but we can look at a term policy for her or we can look at living benefits for you. It all depends on your medical situation because we go up to age 85. So uh, she's lost, she just lost that. Yeah, she's just, all that money she's so paid in, they got that. So they, she she'll, we just cancel that out. What she did, if she's got any cash value on that left, you can say you want to surrender that policy and whatever cash value you have built up, they'll give that to you. But if you don't have any cash value built up, they're just that all the money you paid in is theirs. It belongs to them. Okay, so so what what, what you said? Okay, so if I die, then if I pass anything, now what they gonna do? Take put it, whatever left on the policy, get that money what I owe them. Whatever's left on the policy, on the, okay. they'll um, give that to your family. If it's it all depends on how long it's paid up because they give you so many months. Um, until it's out. You know, you could say, I want to surrender that policy. And they'll say, well, you're paid up until maybe August. So that policy will last until August. So if something happens to you before August, whatever's there, they'll pay that to your family. But yeah, whatever you haven't paid them back, <laughs> whatever you haven't paid them back, um, they'll take that from your policy. They deduct it from or your policy. 25000 is $12.90. For 50000 is Twenty-five dollars and forty cents, and that's just that one payment for all nine children, and they're covered. So, <laughs> yeah, you can put all of them on one policy because it's hard. I had a, a grandmother who, yes, she had her son and she had her grandson and their baby, and she put up, she owns his policy. And they'll ask me, well, why does the grandmother own the policy? Because that's her grandson. She wants to make sure that he is covered. She has insurable interest. Insurable interest is that you care for that person. That's your family. You need to make sure they're covered in case something happens with them in life. So, yes, you can um, get your grandchildren, and if they, they can be called riders on your policy or on their parents' policy, and they're covered, you know, because it's just so much happening today, like I said. The children, the adults, the older adults, You can add them up under the bottom. Uh, it's just like that, nine children. Mm -hmm. It's going to be, each each one's different. You got nine here, that's $12.90 for 25000 Then you got another nine. You can just, you know, they're riders for each policy. So, mm -hmm. so but yes, um, I just think it's great. I think living benefits is better than somebody knocking on our door and selling us ten, fifteen thousand dollars worth of insurance. And then we have the funeral and everybody show up with the potato salad and the chicken, the plates and the cups. And then I'm after all that's over, I'm still worried. Well how am I gonna get live? How am I gonna have some money to do everything else? So that's where it's good to get a large policy instead of just enough to bury. Because I don't look at it as term insurance or life insurance. I look at it as love insurance because your family, that's your future. 
you know, when I look at myself, how I was, if I knew I was going to be selling life insurance from where my path and journey had God led me, I would have never thought that I'd be here because I did CNA for 15 years. Then I graduated from phlebotomy in December of 18, and I started selling insurance in October of 2018. And I did my clinicals, and I never went back to phlebotomy. I love this. I love, excuse me, I'm getting, <laughs> I love educating our people on what's out there for us. I don't want to force you to get it, but if you need questions about it, ask me about it, please call me. You can reach me at 229-236-2247. My cell phone number is 941-685-0559. And I'm in Thomasville on Broad Street and 125 North Broad Street in Suite 215. Yes, ma'am. Yes, um, my cards are in the um, book there, everything. But if you have anybody that you want to refer, anybody that you know needs them, give me a call. We'll go over. If you can't come to me, I'll come. <laughs>